I'm always trying to find ways to meet my protein requirements while keeping my daily calories low. And the easiest way for me is simply to add protein powder to my meals and my desserts. And depending on the type of protein powder that I use, I can add the highest percentage of protein and the lowest number of calories per tablespoon compared to any other protein ingredients like soy or tempeh that irritate my skin in large quantities or over a longer period of time. So in this video, I wanna share with you a super easy recipe for a dessert with just four ingredients that packs 24 grams of protein per serving, providing you with lots of energy and protein all while satisfying your taste buds. My name is Jennifer Lipscomb. I'm a fat loss nutrition coach and I help black menopausal women with the sweet tooth lose fat on a fully or partly plant-based diet without skipping dessert. Protein serves a lot of different functions, but most importantly, it helps to build and maintain muscle mass and it curbs our appetite. These two things are critical for us as menopausal women because each year we lose about 1% muscle mass. And because of our menopausal symptoms, we experience an increase in our appetite. But with protein, we can prevent overeating. The quickest way for menopausal women on a plant-based diet to boost protein intake is through protein powder. But we don't want to add unnecessary processed food if we can avoid it. So by preparing our own protein powder, we can control the amount of protein, the calories, and the taste without having to spend tons of money or adding ingredients that trigger us. I do try to plan and prepare which meals I will add protein to because not all protein powder mixes well with all of my meals. But for the maple nut butter protein balls that I want to share with you today, my homemade protein powder with just four plant sources blends well and tastes great with the other three ingredients that I add. If you want the recipe for my homemade protein powder, check out the video either above or at the end, and I'll leave a link in the description notes as well. If you find value in the information in this video, I would love it if you would like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can continue to receive similar content each week from my channel. These protein balls are not only quick and easy to make with just four ingredients, but they provide energy from the carbs, a lot of protein, some fiber, and a little bit of fat that will help keep my blood sugar stable and my cravings low. So let's get started. Here I'm using a scoop for all of my measurements. It has a volume of 25 milliliters, which is basically 1.7 tablespoons. I take a muffin pan because it's easier for me to make sure each serving contains at least 24 grams of protein because each serving will have the same amount of ingredients. The ingredients include my homemade protein powder with blended dried peas, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, and chia seeds, plus peanut butter powder, which contains 90% less fat. I'm using PB2, oats, and maple syrup, which contains 50 calories for each tablespoon per serving. I simply take one full scoop of each of the ingredients and drop it into each muffin plate. And the last ingredient that I add is one half scoop of the maple syrup so that it catches in the dry ingredients and does not get lost on the muffin plate. Once I have all the ingredients in place, I simply mix with a tiny spoon, making sure to distribute the maple syrup throughout the dry ingredients. And once the syrup is fully covered, I then scoop the ingredients and press it into a ball. You can eat it right away or you can store it in the fridge. I meal prep them into five containers, three balls each, and each energy ball is about 217 calories. So I usually eat them throughout the day to satisfy my sweet tooth and curb my appetite in between meals. Make sure to include them in your overall calorie intake for the day to prevent overeating. I love the earthy taste of my protein powder when added to smoothies or pancakes or energy balls, but for newbies, that earthy taste is not as preferable. They like to have it milder so that it doesn't come through. So next week, I'm going to share a new recipe that has roughly the same amount of protein, but with a neutral taste 
so that you can put it in all your recipes without tasting the strong earthy flavor from the plant sources. And if you're interested in making a transformation, kickstart your journey with my free mini fat loss course, which also gives tips on how to make healthy fat loss desserts that will help keep you on track. Simply comment transformation and I will send the link directly to you.